ascending and descending tracks of spinal cord. Here we can see the cross-sectional spinal cord. And the left side of the slide indicates the sensory and descending tracks of the pathway and the right side indicates motor and descending tracks of the pathway. The sensory and descending tract of the pathway means this tract carry sensory information from receptors to central nervous system. And this tract is divided into four, four main pathways. That is dorsal polar medial and distal tract, spinocerebellar tract and anterior lateral system. The first one is called dorsal polar medial and distal system because this system is present in the dorsal surface of the spinal cord. This is the dorsal part and this is the ventral part of the spinal cord. And the dorsal polar medial and distal system is arranged in the dorsal part of the system. And the dorsal polar tract which is divided into two minor tract that is called gracialis fasciculus and cuneatus fasciculus. This is the gracialis fasciculus and cuneatus fasciculus. And the second tract that is called spinocerebellar tract. Spinocerebellar tract is again divided into posterior spinocerebellar tract and anterior spinocerebellar tract. This is the posterior spinocerebellar tract and this is the anterior spinocerebellar tract. The third one that is anterior lateral system, which is again divided into lateral spinothalamic tract and anterior spinothalamic tract. The lateral spin this is the lateral spinothalamic tract and this is the anterior spinothalamic tract. And the fourth and minor Track that is spino olivary system. Then in the right side, it is motor and descending tract of the spinal cord. This is because this tract carry motor impulses from central nervous system to muscles. And they mainly control the motor activities and they control the activities of skeletal muscles. This system is divided into pyramidal tract and extra pyramidal tract. Pyramidal tract means this tract originated from the central nervous system and they form pyramid in middle of the neck. That's why it is called pyramidal tract. This tract is again divided into lateral corticospinal tract and anterior corticospinal tract. This is the lateral corticospinal tract and this is the anterior corticospinal tract. Then next one, extra pyramidal system. Extra pyramidal system means this tract does not make any pyramid in middle of the neck. That's why it is called extra pyramidal tract. This tract is again divided into rubrospinal tract, reticulospinal tract, oligospinal tract, and vestibulospinal tract. Now we study about the first important system that is lateral spinal thalamic tract. Okay, lateral spinal thalamic tract. This lateral spinal thalamic tract mainly carry pain and temperature sensation. The receptor for this pain and temperature sensation is called nociceptor. These are free nerve endings. These are present in all over the body, but except in brain. This system includes three neurons. They are called first order neuron, second order neuron, and third order neuron. The first order neuron, which is originated from the receptors and is terminating dorsal gray matter or dorsal cord or dorsal horn. The second order neuron originated from the dorsal gray horn and they terminate in hypothalamus. Then third order neuron originated from the thalamus and the terminating cerebral cortex. Okay, this is the pathway of lateral spinal thalamic tract. In this tract, the first order neuron, this is the first order neuron, which will receive the pain and temperature from the receptors. And this information passing through the dorsal nerve root and the terminating the dorsal gray horn. This is the dorsal gray horn. And second order neuron originated from the dorsal gray horn, especially from the gelatinous of Rolando and marginal nucleus. From here, this fibers cross to opposite side of the spinal cord. This is called decussition of the tract. And then they enter into lateral spinal thalamic tract or the lateral part of the spinal cord. That's why it is called lateral spinal thalamic tract. Then this tract ascend upward through the remaining segment of the spinal cord, then they enter into middle of the anita, pons, midbrain, and finally it enters into the thalamus. Then the third order neuron originated from the thalamus, which is synapsed with the nucleus of the thalamus, and they terminate in postcentral gyres of the cerebral cortex. This tract mainly carries pain and temperature sensation. 